selenium. <coughs> I have a rooster who's been either being knocked over or falls over and can't quite get back up on his own. I've been calling him tipsy lately. Tips over and one of us has to put him back up on his feet. He just kind of lays there relaxed now because it's happened so many times. He just patiently waits for somebody to come get him. Two of the roosters, if it happens when he's outside, free ranging, they'll hang around him. They'll just hover around until one of us comes. Kind of as a protective layer, it looks like. So I don't know if he's going to get better. He got really skinny, too. So because you can't really see what's going on in a chicken on the inside. Just kind of got to cover all the bases. So this helps with cell growth. Um, this is how we saved our chicken with rye neck, which, you know, the rat pack, you can't tell who's who. They all kind of look alike unless, like, Tipsy's skinny now. I also put vitamin B12 on the food in the morning. Which helps if I keep up with it. I notice that I find him upside down less. And I... This is old rosemary. I just brought in some new fresh rosemary from Greenhouse 2. The rosemary I tried to winter in the overflow area didn't make it. This is calendula. This helps with uh, IBS and hair growth and feather growth. Lots of other things. I still have a duck who has bad butt, which is... You know, we all got sick about the same time last year. Me and the ducks, and, and I can tell that <clears throat> whenever we get sick, there's animals around us sick too. So my whole family got sick. One of the dogs got sick. Um, one of the ducks got sick again. A different duck, like like not the same duck that was sick before. So the calendula is good for the um, IBS that one of the ducks still has a bad butt. There's only one leaf in there, and I, I put a little bit of that in my teacup. I'll mix it all in here, and then I'll pour a little in my teacup and a little in the um, water, which I'm getting ready to do. Another benefit to doing the water in the house is I can keep the jugs cleaner. I cleaned that jug last night when I brought it in. And I had a couple other things that I brought out of the duck house that I cleaned. I was having problems with my stomach last week. This is probiotic green tea. So my IBS is completely healed, right? But I was having problems with my stomach feeling kind of bloated and gassy, which means I have to go back on the IBS diet before it turns into um, full-blown IBS, which took about six months for that to heal up. But the point is it healed up, right? So that is that is autoimmune. So anytime I feel like my body's exhausted or my stomach's bloating, I 
I get strict with no sugar. I start using the things that worked when I got sick the last time. And then my thought process is I won't get that sick again because months and months of research has um, giving me the information that I needed to get well and then to stay well. Vitamins goes in their water too. I don't always use it. <coughs> I've got morning voice. Not been up very long. Apple cider vinegar is also good for, it's, this is raw. This is the better stuff. This always goes in the water. Put too much water in here. Because I was talking to you guys and not paying attention. Whoops. I guess it's just going to have to be too full. And where's my water glass? So some for me, some for the chickens. The tea's the same thing. Some for me, some for the birds. The birds all get the same water. And I noticed that um, Millie's feathers started growing back after I started using this. So, I mean, it, it was beneficial. These are beneficials. And then I've got a, the, the new duck that's sick is having the respiratory problems. And the rosemary's good for the respiratory. Vitamin B12. I keep the food bucket in the coop at night so the raccoons don't come in here. They can get in the barnyard, they just can't get in the coop. So I have to let the chickens out, which is not ideal, to get to the food. Turn the heat lamp on to warm this up before I open up the loft. And we have a heater down here at the bottom. So I have the heat on. I'm going to let it warm up before I do baby birds. The baby birds are in their first week of life. And they're doing really, really well. And it is about freezing today. But if I wait, when I open the doors, it won't be such a chill going in there to check on their food and water and progress, do whatever I need to do. Millie moved over here. That's Millie in the food dish. Gee, she's fluffing back up finally. She's like been bald forever. But the rooster's on this side of the fence are feisty and the baby roosters are turning into roosters like feisty so i only have two hens in here right now and they may be, end up being moved out until further notice when i make changes they don't have to be permanent changes they just have to work you know, for the time being. See him fluffing up? 
It's above freezing now. It's probably close to 40 degrees or so. In here, it's probably 40 degrees, 42, 43. Outside, it's colder. It was 37 this morning, so that's not bad for morning temperature. For us, I mean, it feels like we're, we're at the beginning of winter. You know, I don't know. Chickens, they just never get old. I just had no idea how much I was going to like having chickens. These are the babies, baby roosters. So the hen that was in the cat crate has a bunch of babies now. Four. She had four yesterday that I could count. Charred. I'm gathering up food for afternoon snack. They usually have eaten a good portion of their grains by now. Eat some cat mat. So when it's raining, this is harder for me to do. Some garlic greens. I'm not gonna come in here when it's raining. And it rained all day yesterday. I cooked a pumpkin and made a stir fry so there was enough of my indoor stuff that I didn't really have to do the garden stuff. Decided to give them veggies instead of green. Food pyramid. Yeah, there's still stuff in the garden. Night birds. Nothing like disturbing my birds at bedtime. I like to see how they're sleeping, though. The duck hut. No, no, no. Don't come back out. No, no, no. Are y'all in there? Yep, there's another one over there. There's five ducks. Oh, good stretch. Night-night, duckies. Night-night. I've been coming out here late, so I haven't had to shoo anybody in. I come in and everybody's in bed. Woo! Sorry! Maybe I should use my hand. Alright. That's the boys. Girls are on the other side. Night, boys.